Hello there. My name is Trevor, and thank you for agreeing to listen to me. I won't take too much of your time. I am a Pokemon card collector and salesman by trade. I've made most of my fortune on Pokemon cards, the rare ones, the ones that you think don't have any value. They actually do. And it's not because of the card itself a lot of times. No, a lot of times it's because of the story. The story of the card. So, before we get into this, um, we have some very good Black Friday deals, and I wanted to go through those with you. Um, you better hurry, because there's a limited supply. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Alright, let me put my glove on. I'm going to put this on, and I just got to test the fabric, make sure it's okay. Okay, yes, the fabric is fine. Okay, the reason I put the glove on is because I don't want my human oils from my hand to affect the paint on the card. Not sure why I have to specify that I'm human, but you know what I mean. Okay, so first, one of our deals is this dark Quilava, okay? This is a rarity. You don't find a lot of the dark Pokemon anymore these days. So, this one here, and again, remember, it's all about resale value, okay? So, this one here goes for, you could pay $100 today, about three years down the road, it'll increase threefold. So just take a moment and think about it. This is a Black Friday deal. It is not going to be here forever. And I, I guarantee people are going to be buying this one left and right. The next one is a Vulpix. And you'll notice if you look very closely on the card, this is a second edition Vulpix. This is actually the Vulpix that the Pokemon trainer Brock owns. It doesn't say it on the card, but it's implied. And you'll see, of course, that this card is in perfect condition. Vulpix is looking very pristine. Uh, the reason why this one is valuable is because there's actually a mistake on it. Um, you'll notice the number of tails. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's actually one too many tails. So don't research that. Just just, just take my word for it, okay? This thing, this card is worth $400. Okay, I slashed the price in half just for you. And down the road, let's say a year from now, it'll be worth $1,000. I don't know. I think I think that's a really good deal. I think that's a really amazing deal. Okay. And by far the hottest deal of all today, and I've been selling these like like hotcakes is Magmar. I think that's what it sounds like. Okay. Magmar. This one, the fossil Magmar. You'll see the little fossil symbol there with smokescreen and smog, which are rare attacks to see for a Magmar. And the 70 HP edition, I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, look, okay, just between you and me. And this is a secret, okay? Okay, listen. Now, I don't usually do this, okay? I know there's people around, I don't want them to hear. Okay, but I can... This Magmar would usually cost $700. I can slash it to $350. $350, but only if you buy this one today. Okay? $350 is a great price for this Magmar. Please buy it. And in two years, its value is going to be $1,400. So just, just, just think about that. In fact, hold on a second. Let me, um, let me just see something real quick. Sorry, I um, my computer fell asleep and it starts to freeze and 
hang up. Well, that's the best I can do. Okay. All right. You'll think about the offers. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. I understand. You're not an impulse buyer like many Pokemon card collectors and scalpers tend to be. Uh, let me take a sip of my 65-ounce espresso. Mm. 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 Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. I'm going to kind of go through these real quick and try to explain to you why this is such a hard sell, but why this is also very valuable. What we have here is an energy card, okay? An energy card. So this card is the rock slash fight type energy card. Now you may be thinking to yourself, does this really have any value? I mean, come on, there's no way. There's no way it has any value at all. Well, guess what? And this is gonna blow your mind. It's more valuable than these three Black Friday deals combined, okay? This card here is, today, if you pay $2,000 for it, you'll get 4,000 literally one month after, after you buy this. Its resale value will be 4,000 because people are looking all over the place for a card like this. You don't even understand. You don't even know. This is so rare. People are looking for energy cards. And I can understand why. Look at the intricate design. Look at the light surrounding the icon. Okay, look at the fist symbol, right? It's very powerful. You know, you got, you got your energy in a very special font, plus a small little icon in the corner, a little bit of, actually the, um, the rectangle that's the background of the energy has a little bit of a bevel to it, as you can tell. And it's small details like these, you know, that make this very, very valuable, okay? And in a similar fashion, we have the Psychic Energy card. And again, it has the same design principle, beveled background behind the energy two icons and you'll notice the eye itself um, it's very detailed very very detailed and if you look really closely you'll notice that the center of the eye is a moon this is done intentionally it's called design principles very popular in the world of Pokemon oh you know some pictures paint a thousand words or however the saying goes. Look at this beauty right here. So listen, these three energy cards, okay? If you're willing to pay 400 a piece, they will all be worth 1200 a piece in five years. Just hold on to them because energy cards are hot right now. In fact, these should have been a Black Friday deal, but um, <laughs> I'm not that generous, okay? Hey, look, I gotta make a living somehow. Alright. Impulse buy. Caterpie. $1,200. Buy it. Come on, buy it. Just buy it. Uh, that worked on at least half of the people I tried to sell this to. Anyway, this is a rare Caterpie. It's one of the first editions, and you'll notice that the card is thicker than most Pokemon cards. Yeah, no lie. They accidentally made a mistake and they used too much paper. So honestly, really rare card. If you pay 1200 for it today, it will be $4,000 in three years. This is a hell of a buy, okay? I'm not gonna lie, this is, I, I am selling this at a loss. It may not seem like it, but I but I really am. So please, please just just at least think about it, okay? Just think about it. Here comes another card 
that apparently was a mistake in production, which makes it all the more rare. This is a tentacle, okay, a tentacle. And besides the very nice art, the real value in the card comes from the misprint. You'll notice, you'll notice it says acid as one of the attacks. Well, since when is acid a water type move, right? It's a mistake. If you know your Pokemon, you would know that this is a complete mistake. And it also says there's a Pokemon power here called cowardice. Now, this is also a misprint. It was supposed to be called bravery, but they accidentally, it's a typo. How did they make a typo that bad? I don't know. It's not for me to question, but, but yeah, but yeah, okay. If you pay $600 today, it will be $3,000 in about two years. You know, this is, this is going off the books, okay? Mm. Ah, delicious coffee. Delicious. All right, now look. People are absolutely crazy about the fossil Pokemon. Look at this Edition 1 Kabutops Pure Fossil from about 1999 and 2000. This was sold. They sold about, let's just say, a thousand copies of this card in the first printing. Um, it's good quality, it's stable and sturdy. It has the sharp sickle attack, which as you'll note, does not appear on any other edition of Kabutops. 60 HP rock type. You could buy this and really fulfill that collection that you wanna get or resell it. It's $4,000 today. I know that seems steep. That's as low as I could go. I promise you, I would go lower if I could. Um, think about this. $4,000 today, $8,000 one year down the road. Because people will be looking for fossil Pokemon. I guarantee it, okay? Keep that one in mind. Oh my gosh, this next card is very rare and before i show it to you i'm going to give you the price ten thousand dollars today two years down the road it'll be fifty thousand dollars no lie do you want to take a guess what card it is what pokemon is it remember the remember the tv show who's that pokemon it's mewtwo like i i remember that shit but this is Professor Oak. He is not a Pokemon, um, but it, Professor Oak is a trainer card, okay? And you don't find a lot of Professor Oak cards out in the wild anymore. Um, this is due to a Pokemon card factory fire that took place in the year 2000. And... Um, all the Professor Oak cards were being printed at the moment. And a lot of them were trashed and burned up in the fire. So there's only about 1,200 of these in circulation right now. And that's definitely not taken into consideration the ones that have probably been thrown away and destroyed and in bad shape. If you can find a Professor Oak, I mean, you've, you've got the world in your hands, so yes. And this is also a very useful card if you are if you care about Pokemon card competition. So like if you're a player, look at this. Discard your hand, then draw seven cards. That is one of the best, that, that's like a 4D chess move, okay? The next one, the next one I'm going to show you is actually a banned card. It was banned. Okay. Can you guess which Pokemon it is that was banned? Well, it's not a Pokemon. This was another trick question for you. So this here, this 
is the trainer card gambler okay again just like the professor oak card a very 4d chess move shuffle your hand into your deck flip a coin if heads draw eight cards if tails draw one card do you know why this card was banned from competition and from pokemon in general well i'll tell you it's because the name of this card is gambler and parents were very up in arms over it because they thought the pokemon card game promoted gambling uh and not only the name of the card but also the sight of the dice being thrown on a craps table um definitely got parents a little worried that pokemon was promoting gambling right um and so this card would eventually get banned from official production if you find a card like this it is worth twelve thousand dollars much more value because it was banned okay so you could buy it today for twelve thousand sell it in four years for thirty five thousand dollars that's how rare it is because a lot of them were burned up and thrown away because they were you know they were banned <laughs> i like that sound okay um and also you'll notice that in the pokemon anime you will never see a pair of dice dice and cards are banned from the anime craps tables are banned from the anime anything that resembles gambling and fun uh were pretty much banned from the anime after the production of this card so <laughs> brave new world i guess all right we're getting down towards the end very briefly this is three thousand dollars today for you pay this price and in two years it'll be six thousand dollars look what can i say it's a fossil pokemon and they're hot right now like everyone is buying them right now who's that pokemon guess what it's bulbasaur with leech seed okay this is one of the original one of the very first pokemon cards ever printed this card right now because it is a bulbasaur and you don't see very many of them it's eighty thousand dollars i mean look you might you might have to take out a loan to buy this card but i swear to you in two years this card will be worth a hundred thousand i'm talking six digits and i i don't want you to here's the thing okay i don't want you to say no just because you're scared of the price point this card is an investment do you realize this could be your retirement you have bulbasaur to think for your retirement okay do you understand a hundred thousand grand a <laughs> hundred thousand dollars um yeah this card could fill your pockets for years to come okay a hundred thousand dollars i mean that's insane just think about it just think about it now you might think this card has no value and you would be absolutely correct i don't know i don't know why i have it just ignore that okay so it's time to show our very last card and this one is rare okay now the price today is one hundred thousand dollars i see that expression you're making please 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 just hear me out okay i've been trying to sell this one for years people just don't understand the value of it they don't know a good pokemon card when they see it but i do okay so here we go this is a dratini i know right it's 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 amazing look at that beautiful sunset look at the bevel and the shadow underneath the bevel of the rectangle look at the color and scheme look at the fact that it's a very simplistic card 
the only thing it does is pound. Okay. This this card is so rare. You don't see this anymore. It's so rare. And if you pay $100,000 now, in two years, it'll be $200,000. Maybe even three, but we'll have to see how the Dragonite market goes. Um, but look, I know it's a high price card, okay? And well, my computer fell asleep again. I know you have your reservations spending a lot of money on Pokemon cards. I understand that, you know? Like, money doesn't grow on trees. Bitcoin doesn't grow on trees. But look. Look, I can sweeten the pot. If you buy this, I'll throw in the rest. All of these cards. For their full price. And you could, you could just... You could just buy them all at full price and these pokemon cards will be your fortune please just consider it please just consider it because the thing is you got to think about your future you got to think about the money that you need to make so that when you die you know your kids will have a very sizable inheritance You know, I'm using my fortune with these Pokemon cards uh, to buy a new house and to start my own card production company similar to Pokemon. And so I can artificially value the cards like I do here and make a killing. And, I, you know, I'm looking out for you. You know, I'm a businessman at heart. But I want you to succeed, and I want you to make a lot of money just like I have. So, I'm going to give you some time to think it over, okay? Think it over, and let me know what you decide, okay? All right. I'll be right back. Have a good one.